Okay, we're gonna be looking at biofeedback. So on Chattanooga on the Genesis machine, if you pick the EMG um, stem, uh, you will get biofeedback. And we're gonna edit so we can look at everything. So we're just gonna have one channel. So first I'm going to turn the volume off while we talk. Okay, so we just have one channel plugged in so you can see we just have a readout for one channel. Um, we can choose to have the alarm sound only if my patient goes above their threshold. So what we're gonna do first is to strengthen somebody. So we want them to um, activate as many motor unit action potentials as possible. Think about that as having them fire as many muscle fibers as they possibly can. Okay, um, we're gonna have to uh, capture our target and we're gonna do that in just a second um, as soon as we get our patient set up. Okay, so here is my patient. If you will hold that, I'm going to clean her skin and dry it off. Okay, and I'm going to place, ah, there we go. Um, the red and the black are our active. So we're going to look at rectus femoris, and let's look at VMO, and then our green is our reference, and you want the green in parallel with the first two, so I'm going to put it over here on VL, okay? Um, so I'm going to take the phone back, and we're going to come back over here and we're gonna capture our target. So I'm gonna put target manual. Okay, and we got capture target right here. Um, okay, I'm gonna capture her average. Okay, so I'm gonna say that. And uh, patient, I want you do a contraction of your quadricep. Go ahead. Okay, and we kind of see how much effort is kind of varying. We'll end the capture, and it's going to tell us that her average was 50 microvolts. Okay, now if we're trying to strengthen her, we're going to have her do a quadricep exercise. And we're going to let her know when she's successful at getting at least to 50 microvolts or above 50 microvolts or wherever we set it. Now, if she was working as hard as she possibly could, and I'm going to have her do a full set of 10, I doubt she's going to hit her max every single time. So I will usually take the target down to like 75% of their average. Again, this is where we're setting our threshold. This is the patient's target. This is how many fibers of this muscle they want to get to contract, okay? I'm gonna turn the volume back on, okay? And tell my patient, go ahead and contract that muscle hard as you can. Oh, she's doing great. And relax. Okay, now we can do it 10 times again. Good, okay, and we got this wonderful um, tone patient could watch this screen or they could just listen but that way they know if they're successful this is only for feedback this is letting the patient know how well they're doing okay now i can also change this just relax for a second okay contract as hard as you can quiet and relax. So here I changed it to alarm below. If I'm in a busy clinic, maybe I just want the patient to know when they didn't do very well. Go ahead and contract hard as you can. See, and that makes it nice and quiet. Okay, so that'd be kind of like a, eh, you did bad. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this. Okay, now let's think, that was for strengthening. So for strengthening, we want a fairly high target or threshold that the patient is trying to achieve. This machine doesn't let us hit sensitive, uh, set sensitivity. 
If it did, we would be setting the sensitivity medium to low. We don't want the machine to act like a microphone. We don't want the machine to amplify uh, the amount of muscle activation she's getting. Um, we want her to work really hard uh, before she gets any credit, if you will. Um, now, if we were trying to calm down a muscle, let's pretend she has a spasm in her quadricep. Okay, not very likely, but maybe. Um, let's start a new treatment. I'm gonna turn my volume off. Okay, we're still on channel one. Um, and this time, I am going to keep the alarm I'm gonna have the alarm above target. Uh, we're gonna set the target pretty low, okay? We're wanting as few MUOPs as possible, motor unit action potentials. We want this muscle to be quiet. We don't want anything to fire, okay? So I'm still gonna keep my average target. I'm still need to capture the target. Uh, patient, go ahead and contract that muscle real hard for me, okay? So that's gonna be like a spasming muscle. Okay, and you can see, go ahead and contract as hard as you can. There you go. Good, and we'll end capture. Okay, um, now if she's spasming, that's kind of where she is all the time. So I might keep it at 100% early on because if she relaxes at all, she would be below the target and that's a good thing, that's what we want. Um, if I'm like, no, I think she can do better, I could actually uh, bring this target down it's like, okay, 100% was when she's spasming. How about if we go to 70% of that? We want, we want her to contract only 70% or even less um, of that number of motor units. Let's say that, okay? Um, so as long as she's below the threshold, it'll be nice and quiet and relaxing. But let's say she kind of spasms. Go ahead and contract. Yeah. Oh, I still have the volume off, that's why. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me rephrase that. She's alarming below, which means she's being told right now she's doing good. I had this backwards. For her, I'd probably want her to alarm above to tell her, nope, you're not doing good. Yeah, oh, nope, nope, try to relax, think nice thoughts. Okay, I would have her positioned very well. We would have the lights off. Maybe she's doing some guided uh, imagery or meditation. Um, maybe I have a hot pack on her. Um, anything to help these muscles relax. And as long as she's relaxing and she's below that threshold, she's good. But if she spasms, go ahead and contract, she's gonna hear about it. She's gonna be, oh, no, wait, I gotta breathe. I gotta relax again, okay? Again, this machine doesn't let us set sensitivity. If it did, we would want the sensitivity to be kind of high. We're dealing with such few MUOPs, um, very few motor unit action potentials, that we need the machine to kind of act like a microphone and pick up every single one so we know what's really happening. Okay, so I always think of um, the sensitivity like a microphone. Do we want the microphone picking up every little sound, every little moop? And when we're trying to relax a muscle, yes, we need to know every little thing that's going on because we want that muscle completely quiet if we can.